WFNN. The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien, coming to you live from TFNN, 10 a.m. Eastern Time on Friday morning, 30 minutes into the trading day, and we have markets sneaking into the negative right now. Dow, only index in the green, but barely hanging on by about 18 points right now. NASDAQ 100, you're off by 67. S&Ps, we just gave up a quick 25 points, folks. Uh, we drive to a price level of 4,016 in the first half hour of trading. And then just like that, 25 points. We give it up. 39.91. You're still only negative by about two tenths percent. You're sitting right near 4,000. It's been quite a week on the S&Ps. You take a look at this daily, right? Where are we kicking things off? Let me see. One second. Excuse me. Yeah, there's Monday action. I had to recalibrate. You include Friday and you include last Thursday. You're talking about 275 points, folks, in the last seven bars. Right? Yeah. Jeez, eight days ago, including the weekend, you had the S&Ps at 3725 and we're flirting at 4,270 points higher. Here's what I will say, folks. You're coming into a very important week and we might have gotten a little bit of headwinds from Snapchat with some of this digital advertising yesterday. Snapchat's its own mess. I will say that. But there are going to be a lot of expectations with the market sitting at 4,000 versus the market sitting at 3,700 coming into an earnings event where we are going to get Microsoft and Google on Tuesday, Facebook on Wednesday, Apple and Amazon on Thursday, many other companies besides those big five reporting as well. And so that all happens next week, man. You want to get ahead of that? Now's the time to do it because we haven't seen, you know, we're back at S&P prices from May 9th, folks, over two and a half months ago about. And we take a look at that note and bond market. It's not stopping right now. Let's check out where we are. There's your acceleration. We're at above 120. We were just as high as 120.11. That's almost three full points in 24 hours. Three full points. The 10-year yield. 2.76%. Not that long ago, we were at 3.5%, folks. Not that long ago, we were at about 3%. I think we might have been at about 3% yesterday at 117.14. And just like that, you give up a quarter point. Just like that. Pretty remarkable that comes on the heels of the ECB going up 50 basis points, having some impact, I'm sure. But the euro, no real change. Check out that Tiger Forex report on the front page of TFNN, folks. You only have about a week left to lock in 25% off for the life of your subscription using code TEDDY25. Basil's out this week. We're going to replay this hour. Live programming coming up after that, folks. Have a great Friday.